bigger in Pontotoc back in the day, and his legacy lives on today. A one-mile stretch of Highway 15 in Pontotoc now bears the name Fred Wicker Boulevard. Many may remember him as a circuit court judge, but he was also a state senator. And his son, U.S. Senator Roger Wicker, thought the honor was appropriate because of what his dad tried to do while in the legislature. To get this highway uh, four-laned and added to the four-lane highway program, whichever one would come along. And the first opportunity he had was as a state senator in 1968. His effort ran into roadblocks then, but they were cleared later. Years later, the new Fred Wicker Boulevard is on the north side of the city, starting at Highway 278 and heading south from there. Don't be surprised to see more traffic on Mississippi highways this weekend, not just for the Labor Day holiday, but for the start of college football. Ole Miss, Mississippi State, both at home to open their seasons. So, no shock, going to be a lot more traffic in and around Oxford and Starkville. Lots of football fans going to and from the game. The Mississippi Department of Transportation is kicking off its Road to Game Day campaign. MDOT wants drivers to use the agency's traffic app for real-time access to road and traffic conditions. Road to Game Day is designed to get drivers to and from the big game easily and safely. Folks in New Orleans gathered for a somber anniversary. That to honor the victims of Hurricane Katrina. That story straight ahead. And football season, as we just said, brings traffic not only to the big track, big college towns, but what about uh, community colleges? We'll share that story with you at a live report on WTVA 9 News at 6. I gotta fix that script that I wrote. Uh, the AD for athletics. Check one, two. Check three. Check one, two, three. <laughs> okay. Okay. They come through here. I know. March all the way they come right here? Yes. They're going to walk. See, see the band? Yes. Coming. They're going to march right through here. Oh, gosh. Yeah. You've got, no, you have to love the I'm going to have to move my camera. Uh. What did I say? Yeah, I thought, I thought something was wrong. It's an exciting time, college football, whether it's four-year schools or the two-year schools. Well, tonight, the two-year schools get underway, and of course, local businesses are excited as well. WTV's Avery Hilliard is live in Boonville with what business close to Northeast Mississippi Community College had to say. Right now, I'm live at the Northeast Mississippi Community College football stadium. Now, football season has started. They have a game today, and it's a lot of businesses around this area. And I talked to some today, and they say when the season comes, it brings so many people through their doors. The NEMCC Tigers are getting ready to take on East Central Community College Warriors. And that means many folks will be in town for it. I went around to some businesses who are nearby to see how excited they are for the season and to see how the season helps their business when it comes to sales. But it brings in a lot of younger people, especially to shop for game day outfits and just the community always supports us during that time. It makes me happy to see um, familiar faces come in and shop and people from out of town that are new at Northeast come in and shop with us. This is a busy month. Uh, we've been busy the last two or three weeks. We can tell that school started back and we're selling cheerleading uh, suits for the little girls and jerseys for the little boys. So yes, we've been pretty busy. 
Both employees say it may be busier around this time, but they love it. Now, the game tonight will be starting at 630, and folks are coming in. You can see them behind me, and then, you guys, you have to take a look. They have the band walking right now, so it's been a, going to be a great night. We will have highlights on this football game tonight A WTVA 9 News at 10, so don't miss out. Live in Boonville, Avery Hilliard, WTVA 9 News.